Jason Schwarzman, Clint Thurman, playing the Fago Blues. Welcome to First Look's 2021 award season special. I'm Danielle Robay. And I'm Tim Cash. This is the start of award season. So tonight, we're taking a look at what really goes into an award-winning production. 2020 has been a challenging year for the entertainment industry, and many productions have held out for a 2021 release. But be that as it may, 2020 has made content creators innovate, and the result has been some really amazing releases, many of which are getting plenty of buzz right now. So let's jump right into it with the best of the best and start off with my favorite category, which you know is acting. Danielle, who did you love this year? So when I think of the performances that really moved me, I think about artists. There are lots of actors, there are few artists. So for me this year, it was Sasha Baron Cohen uh -huh. in The Trial of the Chicago Seven. It was Frances McDormand in Nomadland. And then you cannot go into award season without talking about Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. You have Chadwick Boseman and Viola Davis. One of the performances that stood out for me throughout the entire year was Delroy Lindo in The Five Bloods. The man's uh, furious nature is just so genuine and unforgettable. No one can quite do anger, annoyance and disappointment quite like Delroy Lindo and my father, but either or, same person. It scares me that he reminds you of your dad. Well, you should meet my mother. Well, while we're on the topic of standout performances, the whole ensemble cast of Fargo season four are definitely gonna to be top contenders this year for those coveted awards. I had the amazing opportunity to sit down with Jason Schwartzman and Glenn Terman to discuss Fargo and what really goes into creating an iconic presence on screen. Welcome. So nice to see you both. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Now, this whole episode is about award season, and like always, all eyes are on Fargo. So, Glenn, when this script first came across your desk and you saw Dr. Senator. From the get go, I knew this was a hell of a role because right away from the name, you know, you're already invested in this guy. I need you, Dr. Senator Esquire. You know, I am really a bad mother <laughs> <laughs> What is it with everyone today thinking they can talk back to me like we're having a debate? Now, Jason, I know you were actually a massive fan of the show. When you did take on this role of, of Josto Fada, talk to me about the very early steps you took to bring the role to life. <laughs> I don't know if this is a silly thing, but my father in the show, uh, he dies the first episode. Mm -hmm. And uh, I asked uh, the wardrobe department if I could keep the tie that he was wearing that was covered in his blood. So I kept his wardrobe in my pocket the whole show. Uh, and oh, whenever I felt... Great. Well, whenever I felt like, uh, you know, detached or was trying to... Re I just put my hand in my pocket and would just feel that Oh, I love that, man. I love, I love that. that. Tim, I love hearing stuff like that, you know, the process, how we layer our characters and how we stay connected to our character. That's beautiful, Jason. In America, you've got to earn respect. They're going to war with us. We'll kill them all. I'm the boss. This is my town. Fargo is such an intricate show. There's so many nuances um, to it in the performances. The performances are phenomenal. What scene in particular playing Josto did you feel challenged by? And then how did you overcome that as an actor? It's funny because I, Chris uh, and I are in this show, but I really only had a few days of working with him. I remember it was like a seven page scene and I think I did like all of my lines like in 38 seconds or something. Like I was so nervous going head to head against my counterpart. Um, and it was uh, definitely a big, uh, scary um, feeling. But then of course it wasn't once we started working because Chris is just so awesome and everyone's so awesome. He was determined, more determined than people really know, to make sure that he was seen in a different light, that he uh, delivered a side of him that the public didn't know. We're the future. They're the past. They just don't know it yet. We've met before, but we've never worked together before. So we took some time, to, you know, I took him to my smoke shop in Chicago, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and we hung out there and, uh, and he got sick. 
he got sick smoking a cigar and he literally spent the whole time in the bathroom. You you sabotaged your co-star. Yes, I sabotaged him. You know, production was halted, right, due to COVID, and then you resumed under safety protocols. Um, what is that like? I mean, that's the first time so many people in so many different industries are having to adapt and pivot to this COVID pandemic. I'm so grateful that we got to come back because we yeah. were so close to finishing when we stopped. It was just this odd, we were like frozen in a weird position. It was like a freeze dance or something. And you just wanted to complete it. And so it was a drag in a way because you want to see the people and you want to talk to people. I missed all that. The crew was so great. And we got there and you couldn't hug anyone. In lockdown, it's been a chance to uh, take up new things, things that I didn't have time for before. Uh, Jason, I know your love of music. Have you been playing more? Uh, I always try to make music a part of my day, all, every day. And I'll, I'll bring my harp and you bring your, your guitar and- Let's go. Let's make some music, baby. This is Jason Schwarzman, Blue Thomas, playing the Fargo Blues. How fun was that? Two remarkable actors and musicians, as you just saw. I want to wish them both good luck at the awards, but also a special congratulations to Glynn for his nomination for Best Supporting Actor in a Limited Series or Movie Made for Television at the Critics' Choice Awards. Well done and well deserved. So when we come back, we're taking a deeper dive into just how important the wardrobe department really is with Academy Award winning costume designer Ruth Carter. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. For more, subscribe to First Look and come with me on all my adventures around the world. Who am I kidding? I'm probably sitting at home watching Netflix or playing Xbox. Either way, what are you waiting for? Just hit subscribe already.